Good morning, Rangers. Today is February 27th, 2024. I'm Maria. And I'm Malin. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to CTV. CTV. Rangers, our boys basketball team is having their regional quarter playoffs versus Seven Lakes at Wheeler Fieldhouse at 6.30 p.m. Our JV softball is competing against Crawford at Crawford High School at 5 p.m. Go out and show your support. Cheer team is hosting tryouts from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. from the 26th to the 28th in the auxiliary gym. Lastly, congratulations to our varsity baseball team who competed in the first pitch classic tournament and completed the tournament with a 5-0 record. Now to Oliver with the weather. Good morning, Commits Rangers. Let's take a look at our Tuesday's weather. We'll see an almost identical day weather-wise to Monday. We had ourselves a high 83 on Monday, and we'll have ourselves a high 83 once again. In the low department, 67 is expected right at the average for this time of year and right what we saw yesterday as well. So pretty similar. You might as well wear the exact same thing you wore yesterday. Please don't. We currently have a lot of clouds over the Strickland area. Those should be persisting into tomorrow, but don't worry about much in the rain department. It would just say partly cloudy and not overwhelmingly cloudy. Overall, not too bad weather-wise. This is Alvin Norris with CTV, and that was your Sugarland weather. Thanks, Oliver. If you are a current FFA member and would like to raise an animal for the Fort Bend County Fair, you need to attend the Animal Raiser Interest Meeting on Thursday, February 29th at 6 p.m. in room 1604. A parent is required to attend as well. Find an ag teacher if you have any questions. FFA Booster Club is hosting their annual spring plant sale fundraiser. Scan the QR code to order. The sale ends March 8th. ASA is hosting their annual wax museum this Thursday at 5.30 p.m. at Clements. Table Tennis Club is having their ping pong tournament at Bel Air High School on March 7th and 8th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. on both days. Now on to Noah and Jordan with Guess the Teacher. Hi, I'm your host Jordan. And this is Noah. And today we're going to be interviewing Rangers seeing if they know their teachers. Let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so I'm here with Shiza. And Shiza, do you know who this teacher is? <laughs> Mr. Garcia. Good job. <laughs> All right, so I'm here with? Lorinda. All right, could you please guess who this teacher is? No. <laughs> All right, let's get to the second photo. Who is that? <laughs> stop, stop! The answer was Coach Ford. I'm sorry, Coach Ford. Alright, so who am I here with? Amiri. Amiri, could you please guess who this teacher is? Mr. Ward. She got on the first try, good job. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here with. Sorry. And Victoria. And can you guys guess who this teacher is? <laughs> Do you know who this teacher is? Oh yeah, the volleyball coach. Coach Berger? No, that's Coach Rogers. Yeah, good job. Softball, softball. Good job. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here with my favorite teacher. What's your name? Mr. Alexander. And Mr. Alexander, can you guess this teacher? Mm, oh, okay. I want to say... You're too good. Good job. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Jordan. And this is Noah. Now back to the <laughs> Thanks, guys. Stars and Twinkles competed for the first time this season at Klein Oak High School. Make sure to congratulate them if you see them. Wishing Crane is having a meeting tomorrow after school in Mr. Gagne's room, room 1325. Now on to Ion with World News. Good morning, Rangers. It's Ion with your World News. First from NBC. The U.S. Air Force member who set himself on fire outside the Israeli embassy in Washington, D.C. has passed away. Aaron Bushnell, dressed in military fatigues, live-streamed the protest on Twitch as he self-immolated while shouting Free Palestine before collapsing to the ground. Next from Reuters. Palestinian Prime Minister Mohammed Shtaya announced, announced his resignation early yesterday morning as the Palestinian Authority looks to build support against the Israeli occupation. 
The move comes amid growing pressure from the U.S. on President Mahmoud Abbas to begin working on a political structure to govern the enclave after the war. Lastly from AP, from Albany, New York, Calvin Batista was caught crossing in from the U.S.-Canada border with snakes in his pants. The 38-year-old admitted to having three Burmese pythons hidden in the inner thigh of his pants in snake bags tied to the pants drawstrings. He was sentenced to probation with a $5,000 fine. And that's all I have for the news, now back to the anchors. Thanks, Ion. Happy birthday to Ms. Gray. Friendly reminder that the library will be closed all day tomorrow for TSI testing. Rangers, remember that we do not have school this Friday. That's all for today, Rangers. I'm Malin. And I'm Maria. Bye! Bye.